So I'm here with uh, some good family friends, uh, Ray and uh, Nick Solomon, um, celebrating their uh, one year anniversary of their older brother, Eddie Solomon's passing, uh, passed away from cancer. Uh, popular kid in the area, popular kid in the world. He made a lot of good influence on all people's lives, um, especially in the bodyboarding world. Um, he's one of the top ranked guys in the world. And if you look around here at the beach and you see like, you know, hundreds of people showed up to come support him. I mean, he made a huge influence on, on like, my life and a lot of a lot of other lives around here. I'm um, just been the athlete and the kind of person he was. Um, so we're down there celebrating the uh, the organization that they, they opened up. It's the Eddie Solomon Foundation.org, and uh, just trying to spread awareness of like cancer and how to prevent it before it happens. And you know, if you can save one life alone, that, that that's worth it. So it's just a gathering of good friends and family. And uh, like I said, I've been family friends with these guys for like 15 years, and uh, we made a lot of good memories together. And we still continue to make memories together. And uh, it was just a beautiful day to come down. We grew up here. We're at the beach in Salt Creek and Dana Point. We all kind of grew up around here. We have a lot of memories here. And um, it was a beautiful day. You know, the Lord bless us with a good day to have everyone come down and just spending time with the family, you know? Yeah. Yeah, um, my brother passed away about a, a year ago today from lymphoblastic lymphoma. It's a type of leukemia based cancer. And so he came down here to celebrate his life. And um, with Eddie Solomon Foundation, our mission is to get people join the bone marrow registry it's just a quick swab of your inner cheek to get on it and really that's what my brother needed to you know, for his life to be saved so that's our goal and that's our mission that's why we're here today along with celebrating his life and his memory and all his friends and family um, basically we team up with be the match foundation so you could go to their either eddiesolomon.org or be the match.com um, and sign up for a packet to be sent out to you guys because it would really make a difference to save one person um, the turnaround is just such a great um, experience. And everyone who came today, Eddie's just done so much for people in every sort of way in life. He's just really a legend, and so many people care about him. And just the turnout today alone shows how great he was and how everyone looked up to him and what a good example he has set in life just with everything that's going on, mainly in the bodyboarding industry, but helping others too, helping people grow. And, that's, I mean, he was just, it's too hard to explain how great of a man he was and what he's done for his sport and for others and just how easygoing he was. And Can you tell me about this brand? I see there's a lot of people, the logo with the bowl. Um, so he started back in the day and he was, um, he's really highly um, in the body of the world world. Um, it kind of took a down step and my brother would just want to bring it back and so he started this company called 662 mob um, it's now the trademark is the bull and it's it goes by 662 ride shop but basically he's just bringing it back to the sport he started a magazine to rebuild it started a company has a couple other companies that actually branched off from that but he's just rebuilding the sport and getting people to enjoy it again and bring it back and make it stronger and that was his whole like philosophy in life just making the sport bigger and stronger and making sure everyone's having fun and enjoying themselves uh, sure um, Ahmed. Yeah. the best way to describe him my brother Eddie was probably the Dana White of the bodyboarding community he is the one that brought the sport back and made it alive and grow through um, sponsorship of his friends and his family and the youth in the area. And the starting the only bodyboarding magazine in America, which went on to be the most publicized bodyboarding magazine in the world. Um, along with that, he owns surf shops around the globe, Australia, Tahiti, here in America. You know, has videos around the world, competitions, and just making the sport grow massively with the same passion that Dana White had for the UFC. So it's really great to see them. I know Dana White was my brother's idol. They met a few times, and um, yeah, it's just very similar between them two. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You'll see Dana White wearing some of the shirts and stuff at the weigh-ins and stuff too, because uh, they obviously like the idea of the, of the company and the logo and what it stands for and everything. So that's rad. I mean, it's a beautiful area we live in. I like the Petita brothers and Dana all on property out here too. You know, so uh, we're blessed to be freaking to live to have grown up in such a beautiful area. You know. Yeah, and he had a huge influence on all of us, man. We're, it's a, we're a big group of friends, but it's a big group. Of, it's a big, it's a big family, you know. Um, the friends we have here, you're, you're looking around, you see friends that have been friends for 10, 15 years plus, you know. And it's hard to find that uh, other places in the world, and uh, especially in the world we live in today, you know. There's a lot of chaos and, and uh, crazy shit out there, but uh, it's rad. We had a beautiful day like this to bring everyone together to celebrate. Uh, 
an awesome, powerful man that had a huge influence on all of us and what he did and just just in the man he was, you know. And uh, it's just a celebration of his, his life, really, you know. And uh, I think it's important to see the positive things that he did. And, uh, you know, we spend the rest of our days of our lives just kind of like celebrating our own life and just looking for the positives and just, you know, being happy and thankful for all the days that we've had and the days we got to spend with him. Eddie Solomon, foundation.org. You could just go straight to that site. It'll explain everything that you need to know and how you can help out as well. Uh, please check it out when you have a chance. Again, eddiesolomon.org.